Hey y'all, it's Addison Ray, and today I'm gonna to be binging BuzzFeed quizzes. All right, let's get started. The first quiz I'm gonna take is how much TikTok slang do you know? I feel pretty confident in my TikTok slang, but I'm not 100% sure because I don't know if I ever put true names to like motions. The first question is, what is this called? It's like a split screen of two people and they're like doing the same motion. The first option is a combo. The second is a duet. The third is a challenge and the fourth is a copycat. I, out of my knowledge of TikTok, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a duet because it's like a split screen and usually that's what it looks like when you duet someone. And I was right, it was a duet. What's it called when someone is the best at doing something? We'll use twerking as an example. <laughs> CEO of twerking, twerk master, king of twerking, and the fourth one is supreme ruler of twerking. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with my first instinct, which is CEO, because that was a a huge trend for a while is for people to be the CEO of things. And I was right. So my TikTok slang is looking pretty nice so far. Um, the third question is, what's this dance move called? It's like a screenshot from a video that James and I did. Our butts are out, so <laughs> the first option is body roll. Second option is hitting the woe. Third option is the clown. And fourth option is throwing it back. With our angles of our bodies, I'm gonna have to go with throwing it back. And it was right, yeah. Shout out James for throwing it back with me in that video. What's the name of the main feed where you scroll through popular videos? The talk feed, the TikTok sphere, which is really cool actually. The for you page and the fourth is the zone. So as much as I wanna say the TikTok sphere, cause that sounds really cool, um, it's definitely the for you page, so yep. It's the for you page. What does someone on the app possess when everyone thinks they're great? Uh, the cheer, the stan, the mob, or the hype? So this is the hype. Yep, I'm right. What does it mean if someone comments this emoji on a TikTok? A fishing line with a hook and a fish hanging on the hook. They think the post the poster is fishing for compliments. They think the poster is a catfish. They've caught the poster doing something bad. They think the poster looks like a fish. I am going to go ahead and say that it is, they think the poster is fishing for compliments. And it was right. I think it's fair to say by now, my, we know my TikTok slang is pretty up to par. Which of the following is not a check trend on TikTok? So like there's this trend on TikTok where it's like, blah, 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 check. Having a boyfriend that's 10 times hotter than you, check. Second is my dad is an astronaut, check. The third is rich kid, check. And the fourth is something traumatic happened that changed my life, check. So, as you can tell, I for sure know the last one is one. This one is honestly probably gonna be one that I might get wrong because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. Rich kid check, I'm pretty sure that's one. I'm gonna have to go with my dad as an astronaut check because I don't think I've heard that one, but I feel like that's totally something that would be on TikTok and be normal. Okay, I was right. So, there's not in my dad as an astronaut check, but I'm sure someone will come up with that and I'm, if they haven't already. What does it mean if someone comments this emoji on a TikTok? and the emoji is an hourglass. They think the video was too long. They thought the video was boring. They think the poster has an hourglass figure. They think the poster is out of good ideas. I'm gonna go with they think the poster has an hourglass figure. Yeah, that's what it was. What is a simp? The options are a guy who sucks up to a girl, someone who is dumb, a person who is really sympathetic, or a girl who is really cute and shy. Uh, I'm gonna go with a guy who sucks up to a girl. And that was right. People sometimes overuse the word simp, and I think it's just sometimes people being next. What's it called when someone makes a video explaining what happened to them in another one of their videos? Uh, number one, explainer. Number two, about me. Number three, vibe check. Number four, story time. I'm gonna go with story time because it's pretty much a story about what happened. So I got a 10 out of 10. You live and breathe TikTok, so it makes sense that you're totally fluent in TikTok slang. When you're not making videos, you're scrolling through the For You page and laughing your butt off. I have to agree. I love TikTok and I'm obviously on it a lot because I know all of these pretty quickly. So I guess I'm a Gen Zer. 
All right, so the next quiz I'm gonna take is this aesthetics quiz will reveal your age with 99% accuracy. This is a bold statement. All right, so the first question is, which photo makes you feel happy? So the first photo I see is like a colorful explosion. Um, the second photo is like, it looks like almost granite, but it looks like it's water with like dye in it. The third one is like a cloud. The fourth one is a statue with goggles on on a pastel pink wall. The fifth one, I think it, it looks like a dragon fruit exploded. The last photo is a photo of a woman and she has like, it looks like like goggles, but like I'm made out of flowers. I'm gonna go with the the dragon fruit exploding. And I, I don't know actually if that's for sure a dragon fruit, but it looks like one. Which photo makes you feel uneasy? A like bunch of bananas with like a glitch screen. Then there's a photo of a girl. It's almost like glitched as well. And then the third photo is a feel like frosty looking. Next one is like a bell pepper, a pink bell pepper with paint dripping on it. The next one is two people sitting on a couch in like the middle of the woods. And then the last one is a mouth like this with flowers blooming from the top. I'm gonna say the people that look like frozen. That makes me feel uneasy. Which photo makes you feel confused? The first one is like, it looks like an island and then like you see like a barrier and then like on the other side looks like an ocean. The next one is a girl with like tie dye covering her face kind of. Um, and then there's one of two people walking and holding hands with animal masks on. The next one is a girl. It looks like it's someone that's sitting with their legs like crisscross. The next one is the, an alien holding balloons. And the last one, two penguins sitting on a chair. So I'm gonna go with the first one, the barrier and the island. I feel like it's kind of confusing because I don't know what the barrier is. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go with the penguins on the chair because I'm wondering what they're doing there and what they're watching. Which photo makes you feel nostalgic? The first one is a girl and she's like holding her arms out and there's like, it almost looks like smoke, but in the smoke is like flowers, a monkey on a couch, an old school telephone, but it's pink, so everything's pink around it. The next one is like a dining room, very full of patterns. The next one is a girl and she has like a pink paint swipe across her eyes. The last one is a room and it's like a bunch of stuff, but there's a Dalmatian sitting on the middle table. This is hard. Probably the Dalmatian one. I like it, I like the dog. Which photo makes you feel energized? The first photo is people like laying over, like overlapping on each other. And the next one is like a pink and orange tunnel type thing. Um, the next one is somebody with their arms up. The next one is, it's like a person floating in the sky. The fifth one is a square with like a burst of like smoke on one side of it. And then the last one is like a party scene. My first instinct is to go with the orange and pink rocks, but I'm looking at like the party scene and it, it's kind of energizing me in a way. I'm just gonna have to go with my first instinct. So I'm gonna go with the pink and the orange. Next up is which photo makes you feel nervous? The first photo is like an ocean with like a storm over it. The second photo is a cr like crowds of people at the beach. The third photo is glitched out. And the next one is a house on top of a rock. The fifth one is somebody with lights. It's like hanging in their mouth. And then the sixth one is like desert view with like a sunset. Probably the storm. Um, I get like really scared when there's a storm. And luckily there's not very many storms in California, but where I'm from in Louisiana, there there's always like storms and when they do have them, they're like really bad. Finally, which photo makes you feel optimistic? First photo is a pond with like flowers in it. Then there's a photo of a guy and there's like flowers in the projection of his glasses. And then the next one is lights. So like blue, purple, white lights in a room. Um, and then there's a giraffe with his head in the clouds. And then there's a hand like holding out like twinkles um, and then a person with a flower over their face. So I'm gonna go with the giraffe with his head in the clouds. So I am 26 years old. I am young, free, and living the best years of my life. I've already experienced so many fun things, but I have so much more waiting. It's about six and a half years off, but I'd say that's pretty close, I guess. Um, maybe I just, my aesthetics give off a older age. 
All right, so the next quiz I'm gonna take is, what's the color palette of your personality? First off, how do you think others perceive you when they first meet you? Uh, the first option is soft-spoken, the second is life of the party, the third is thoughtful, the fourth is friendly, the fifth is energetic, and the sixth is kinda rude, TBH. I think people would say I'm energetic, for sure. The next question is, how would the people who know you well describe you? Loyal, sensitive, passionate, forgiving, supportive, or caring? I would say my friends or people that know me well would describe me as supportive. Which three words would you use to describe yourself? The first option is extroverted, loyal, and creative. The second is introverted, intuitive, and helpful. Introverted, determined, artistic. Extroverted, athletic, kind. Hardworking, extroverted, talented. Introverted, funny, and sarcastic. I'd probably say extroverted Introverted, hardworking, and talented. That kind of feels weird saying, but um, yeah, I think I'm pretty hardworking and I'm definitely extroverted. When do you most feel truly about yourself? When I'm with my family, when I'm with my friends, when I'm by myself, when I'm in front of an audience, when I'm being active, or when I'm at work slash school. Um, when I feel most truly myself, I feel like when I'm with my friends. And lastly, what color do you most identify with? So there's red, yellow, blue, green, purple, and pink. And I'm going to say I most identify with yellow. All right, my color palette of my personality is the soft morning palette. You're caring, sweet, and always there for the ones you love. You ultimately love nights in with the best friends, which is so true. It's pretty accurate, pretty much to a T. I love nights with my best friends, so. Thank you so much, BuzzFeed, for all the quizzes. Apparently, I'm a 26-year-old TikTok pro who has a soft morning color palette as a personality. Um, don't forget to follow me on TikTok at AddisonRE and on Instagram, Addison Ray with two E's at the end. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much, BuzzFeed.